Happy birthday to you. Lots and lots and lots of love from Mummy and Daddy, little sister Isabel and Rodney the cat. Rodney says hello and happy birthday. Meow. Happy birthday to Emily who's three years old. And <laughs> there you are giggling with bits and bobs. Happy birthday to you, lots of love from Mummy and Daddy, Baby Alexander and all of your family. Have a lovely day today. And if it's your birthday today, you have a lovely day too. Happy birthday. Look up, look down, look all around. Up in the air or on the ground. Come for a walk, come for a ride. There's so much to see, so come outside. We're made of cardboard or made of wood. We're made of plastic or tin. We're sometimes big and sometimes small and useful for putting things in. What are we? We're boxes. Hello, my dears. We're moving today, and this is the key to our new house. I'm looking for somewhere safe to put it. I know. Pippin! Where is she? Pippin. She's a bit upset today. Dogs don't like moving house. Perhaps she thinks I'm going to leave her behind. I would never leave you, Pippin. Look, this is the key to our new house. And I want you to look after it for me. There we are. I've been collecting boxes for weeks. They come in very handy when you're moving house. Boxes for shoes, now they're very useful. Boxes for buttons, we'll need them one day. Boxes for packing our things when we're moving. Boxes for toys when we put them away. Boxes for hats, they're usually round ones Needlework boxes for things we must mend Boxes for crayons to help us keep tidy Boxes for presents that we want to send Boxes for eggs to stop them from breaking Boxes for things that we don't want to lose Boxes for scraps so we know where to find them So many wonderful boxes to use Pippin! Excuse us, Auntie. Over oh. here. Cheer up. Come along. Come and pack 
your suitcase. I mustn't leave this box behind. It's my treasure chest. It's got some special things inside. This is a toy I used to play with when I was little. <laughs> Jack in a box. Oh, and this is my favorite. It's a music box. Do you know the story of the magic box? Let me see if I can remember it. Once upon a time, there was a poor man. All he had were the clothes he stood up in, one sock and one penny. He was about to eat his last slice of bread when there was a knock at the door. He opened it and there stood an old woman holding a box. I want to help you, said the old woman. And so I've brought you this box. What good is that, said the man. It's a magic box, answered the old woman. Whatever you put in it will double. But you must agree not to be greedy and only use it for things you really need. I agree, I agree, said the man, and he took the magic box. He couldn't wait to try it out. He opened the lid and put in his sock. Suddenly, it became two socks. He put them on. His feet were warm for the first time in ages. Next, he put the slice of bread into the magic box. Suddenly, it became two slices. Then the two slices became four, then eight. Oh, this is wonderful he thought as he put the bread away in his larder. Then he remembered the penny. He put it in the box and suddenly it became two pennies. Then four, then eight, 16, 32, 64, 128. The old woman had told him not to be greedy, but he couldn't stop. Soon, the greedy man had so much money he could buy anything he wanted. And he did. One day, there was a knock at the door. And there stood the old woman. You're far too greedy, she said. And so, I have come to take away the magic box. Well, you can't have it, said the greedy man, and he shut the door. That night, a little mouse slid under the door and made her way to the magic box. She climbed in, and suddenly there were two mice, then four, then eight, 16, 32, 64, 128. By the morning, there were thousands and thousands of mice, and they were eating everything in the house. When they had finished, they disappeared, and the only thing that was left was the magic box. But the greedy man had nothing to put in it.
This will be the last box, Auntie Mabel. Then we're ready to go. Good. Now, this is the address of our new house. I'll meet you there with the key when I can find Pippin. Pippin! Do you know where she is? No, sorry. Oh, I expect I'll find her. All right, you go ahead then, and I'll see you at the new house. Bye. Pippin? Pippin! Pippin anywhere. Where can she be? She's got the key to the new house, so I won't be able to get in. Well, I'll have to go there and tell the removal men what happened. And the furniture and the boxes will have to stay on the van. Dear, oh dear, what a to do. <laughs> can carry your case. <laughs> she's much happier now she's here. I think she'll like her new home. We finished unloading and uh, everything's inside. Pippin had the key and we let ourselves in. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, bye now. <laughs> Pippin, you are a clever dog. <laughs> There they are, Dad. those birds on CBeebies. Dad and bird. Look what are they doing? Where are the birdies meet? Just above the street, sing with lady. Very clever. Thank you. Thank you.